Here's uh, Code, driven, nice, nicely driven as well by Bracey. That's four runs. Uh, Masood diving for it at short mid-off. Moriarty is in, driven by Bracey. Nice looking shot through the offside. And although the outfield is noticeably slower than it has been at... Be used to seeing him do so, but it's uh, going to be the left arm of Moriarty in again. And just being picked off backward of square. In fact, that's going to have the legs to go all the way for four. George Hill giving vain chase. But that's just about it that I can recall off in the 45 minutes as Root starts another over. Slower on that occasion, but wide off the off stump. And Price will pick up a couple of runs towards back foot point. And that will bring up his 50 as well. Round the wicket now to left-handed. Bracey, who's jumped on a long hop and timed it very nicely. It was dying on Adam Lyth. Unfortunate. Moriarty's in. Bracey turns that around the corner. He's already had four down there today. Root's giving chase, but won't be able to stop it. And it's four more to Bracey. Morning, Faisal. As uh, Root continues, and this is cut away powerfully through extra cover in for four by Price. Joe Root watching us accept a sort of reverse version. This is short, pulled away by Bracey dismissively and to the boundary. Fisher starts off fresh over shot again field was set but it looted that leg gully and as it were round the wicket again taken on by Pre yeah price finds another boundary short straight mid wicket and bracy drives moriarty can't field it off his own bowling and there's nobody anywhere near that although again the ball is threatening to hold up but it will just and uh, he's bowled another short one and it's been pulled for four backwards of square leg, strong wind that I did a couple of laps just before he came back on after lunch. Fisher is in, short, pulled with more control this time and uh, pulled for four again. Here he is, short, he's going to go for four more here. There's no bounce about that one down the leg side. He's really annoyed with himself, but he's been pulled. Moriarty bowls short, Bracey pulls that away and will pick up four more runs. That brings up his half century, 52 to his name from 99 deliveries he's been severe on anything short the field has been up at this pavilion end again bowling here to the right-handed ollie price short first up again and uh, pulled around the corner and four more so he can't get this short ball right he's striving to do so catching george hill as well at uh, short mid off and uh, therefore this short delivery from fisher which has been cut by bracey here he comes again, and that's a short ball, Milnes, pulled by Price. Has it got the legs? Yes is the answer to that. Fuller delivery in the air, went past that fielder at short mid-off. Bracey will collect a boundary. Moriarty is in again, he steps back and cuts, and that will be a fourth first-class century for Ollie Price, who has deserved it, played really well. He's pulled particularly well in this afternoon session because he was fed a number of deliveries to do so earlier on. Milnes runs away from us, fuller delivery in the air, but few fielders <laughs> in that direction as the dive from Hill, is it, was not enough to save. Shan Masood trying to save the boundary. Batters who probably would have pulled out there. Lithe bowls short and punched off the back foot through extra cover. That is a gorgeous shot from Ollie Price. This time it's again short, no protection there, just the two fielders on the onside. And it will go away to that fence very, very quickly. But looks like it didn't happen for them as Moriarty starts off with another flatter delivery. Pushed onto the onside. Plenty of big gaps and a short boundary will help Bracey pick up yet another boundary. Drop if you just throw it up in. Live ball short. Pulled away. Hammered through mid wicket for four by Price. And that is going to get the treatment, especially with the confidence of that short boundary to target. Cover sweeper, mid off, mid on, straight mid wicket and a 45 behind square leg side. Short of length, first up from Root is Loosener and he's been dispatched. Counter argument to that being is Moriarty bowls to Price, who drives but won't pierce the gap on the offside. Being that, you know, last night there'd been more time that have had Bracey out there as well. One more wicket, who knows? You know, you really do start to get lower down in the batting order. Being in the field, Moriarty bowls swept again by Price round the corner. And that's heading towards the fine leg boundary as well. Unless it just stops, it does not. That brings 
We all knew. But yes, it went to safety. As another paddle around the corner is executed by Price, and that's running towards the boundary. It's spinning away, and it goes over the rope. 283 for four. Moriarty bowls short, cut by Price, and he's found the gap on the offside. And there's a chase on, but it's not a successful one as Fisher sprawls over the rope, and the ball eludes him. Perhaps this one will, though. Code in. Bowles beats the edge of Price. Is it taken in? It has. Price has gone, and he's out. Can he get a second wicket in this spell? Not with this delivery, and that could be it for James Bracey. Will be it for James Bracey. Turns it away down to fine leg. Pumps his fist in the air, holds his bat high above his head. And it is a 10th first-class century. Code into Bracey again. He's got him. The very next ball, Bracey edges it through. That's a very good catch by Johnny Tattersall for the most part an exciting conclusion although of course we have lost eight overs from today this is wide outside the off stump from Hill and crashed off the back foot by Charlesworth through the covers and that will go to the boundary still important it's probably put paid to, to many extra overs Moriarty in driven by Charlesworth he gets a wide half volley that he goes after and puts it away through the covers for four Johnny Bairstow short and Van Buren has Giving it a fearful thump. Slip in a gully in place. But that length is too short and won't trouble Charlesworth at all. Sean Masood is hot in pursuit, but it will be in vain as the ball goes into the cover boundary. We're back to as Moriarty bowls to Charlesworth. He works that one confidently off the back foot through the leg side. That will have more than enough legs on it to go to the mid wicket boundary for four runs. Very nicely played by Charlesworth. A powerful. Catching in close, Charlesworth gives the charge, not convincingly, of a thick inside edge, will still find a boundary towards deep mid-wicket. Root again, when Buren goes onto that back foot and cracks it towards square leg boundary for a boundary. And that is probably when Buren's most emphatic stroke in this inning so far. <laughs> uh, need to vet those. When Buren repeats the dose that he did earlier in the over, umpire Hassan Adnan showing us some nifty bit of footwork as he avoids that hit from Van Buren. Get the batters out onto their front foot. I mean, they had plenty of runs to play with. As Van Buren goes for the sweep, gets a thick inside edge, went past the leg slip and will have enough legs to go over the... Sure, pulled by Van Buren, who's going to get four more here. 36 to him now. They're 103 for two after 9.4. They need 106 more. Fisher. Uh, Fisher? Where did that come from? Um, Moriarty. That's <laughs> just dragged one down. 386 for six. Moriarty in. Stepping back. Van Buren again. Tracks it away. Pretty similar to the ball before. Not exactly given to them, but definitely down to the... Uh, Batters going after it. Adam Lythe is bowling from the Ashley Down Road end and he's been whipped away. Moved down the order so far has brought a couple of really good innings from him. Oh, now then, edge this time from Charles with two in and over, one from each batter. What is the last over and then you've got to take four wickets in it. Lythe bowls short, cracked away on the pull shot by Van Buren. He sends it through backward square leg for four and that is a 50 for the Gloucestershire skipper. Sheer. Bloody minded. Yes, I think it is. We've been here all day. We're going to make this there for this an extra out to one. the bitter end. <laughs> this is pushed out into the covers for no run.